we started Panther uh, two and a half years ago. Uh, Dwight Merriman, who was the CTO and co-founder of DoubleClick, and myself as the CEO, ex-CEO of DoubleClick, started this company because we had a long background the last 10 years in serving internet companies and providing distributed cash network um, for websites all over the world. So we had been doing it for advertising, but wanted to do this for content as well and felt there was a big, big opportunity for another player in the market. And so we started, built the product, launched it in uh, May of 2006. Uh, now today, you know, have 250 customers um, all over the world, uh, incredible customer retention. So it's really, really gone well. The challenge with this business is that your clients are measuring your performance and your speed, reliability every single day, sometimes every hour, in every data center around the world. So they figure out either you have a good product or you don't. And we happen to have a very good product that's very fast, very reliable, and we created a very innovative low cost infrastructure that allows us to pass savings on to our clients. So in general, we're less expensive. So those are the key uh, factors in, in deciding which CDN you're gonna use. The final one that becomes more important later on is customer support. And we do a great job in getting back to people with, with smart, intelligent, timely responses, and, and customers value that. So at this point, we haven't done tremendous marketing. It's really our customers that are talking to other players and saying, look, you should use these guys. Most people don't consider DoubleClick to be a CDN, but in fact, the base technology is similar. You still have to have content in the form of ads, not content all over the world. If someone comes to a site in Paris or in London, they need to be served from that location or it'll be slow. So we've been dealing with those distributed international caching issues for a long time. Uh, a lot of the key people at uh, Panther worked at DoubleClick at one point. Um, I think it's a, a source of a lot of great engineering talent in New York City. Uh, and so a lot of those people are working uh, at, uh, at Panther and they have been a key part of our success. The reason for starting Panther in 2005 is we thought that video was really going to take off. And it was exactly the moment that video did take off on the internet. And so I think that <clears throat> we're anticipating the next five years to see another 50x increase in the amount of bandwidth being used. And that's really two factors. One is more and more video being used. And I think <clears throat> all of us every day uh, are seeing that and finding occasions where it makes sense to watch video. Uh, secondly, the quality level. I think the major thing you're gonna see in the next three years is a higher percentage of the video you see is gonna be HD. So when it's high definition and you start to watch high definition, you never go back. Um, the quality uh, makes a big difference and so you'll start to see that. So I think all the video you see three to five years from now will be high definition and be just like TV. So oddly enough, I think that things won't change that much. And the reason I think they won't change that much is they're more or less working. So I think if I interviewed a focus group of consumers right now, they'd say, gosh, I can see a lot more things online than I could even two years ago. And I'm watching more and more video. And it works not perfectly yet, but better than it did two years ago. So, and, and sites are getting lots of traffic. Sites are starting to make money on video, um, so that's starting to happen. So the question is, why should this change dramatically? What we continue to need is better compression, more bandwidth, um, better products to help sites monetize that video, so there's more incentive for them to do that. Um, so fundamentally, things are going well.